Hello, thanks for viewing this video that uh, explains uh, the installation of the Wombat dialer. Um, this installation uh, is uh, this video is about an alpha version of the install process, so it may be different in uh, future releases. Um, at the moment, uh, the Wombat is a uh, is uh, an alpha version of the software, so it may there may be changes that uh, will have to be implemented in the future. So this video may be slightly different from what you're going to experience. Anyway, the the, the most important uh, the, the general uh, approach is going to stay the same. Uh, for uh, to get started, I downloaded the Wombat RPM on a new server. So I'm going to install it as yum local install. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, this is going to install the Wombat automatically. I say that's okay. Okay, the installation was performed. I have to install the database by following uh, the the um, commands uh, written here. So I go to the right directory and install the database. I enter the password for my system. At uh, this moment, the Wombat is installed. Very easy. To get start using the Wombat, what we do is basically we open a browser and we go to the address of the of the Wombat uh, dialer that is basically the the, the IP address of the server um, uh, with web app Wombat you see it here and uh, you log in you can log in as demo admin password demo to get started it's uh, from here we can see the basic uh, Wombat interface um, for uh, an initial installation, what we do is that we have to edit the, the basic settings, that is the, the asterisk servers that are uh, going to be used with Wombat. For example, I have this, uh, let's say, server 20, the IP address, uh, the AMI port, we have to enter an AMI login and password that you have to stop uh, before uh, doing this and you save this one. <laughs> then we create a trunk or a set of trunks and uh, one or more endpoints. Let's uh, get started by one from one. We create a trunk on this server, a trunk we call the trunk one. The dial string is the dial string that will be connected. The, what the, the Wombat does it first connects a trunk and then uh, will uh, connect uh, the endpoint of the call. So local here we enter the the this placeholder for the number so on this trunk we dial we dial sorry okay we enter the extension at context that is going to be called using uh, this dollar num to use as a placeholder for uh, the uh, the number that is to be dialed. This will be usually a zaptal or a, a zip trunk or something like this, and we define uh, the capacity of uh, this trunk and we save this one. Then we create an endpoint that is uh, on server 20. We give it a name uh, endpoint one. It uh, can be up to channels we you decide how how large this endpoint may be and uh, and a point in the dial plan that is that is where action wh that is where uh, the calls will be connected to okay then we create a list of numbers you can uh, do this very easily we call list one l1 we save this we can uh, uh, either add the numbers manually from here, but it's not a very good idea if we uh, are doing something more than a test. You can upload the list of numbers by pasting it here, or you can generate a set of numbers, say 100 uh, calls, with numbers starting from any number. This is used to, to call uh, a set of uh, numbers that are all, uh, all together. We save this one here. Then we start. We create a campaign. In order to create a campaign, it's um, not very complex. We enter a name for the campaign. We say the priority of the campaign, uh, if it's runnable or not runnable, if it has to idle on termination or not, the batch size, uh, mm, la, la, uh, 
uh, it should be like four f four times more the total capacity of the campaign or something like this. When the hour, the period when uh, the campaign may run, uh, this is uh, all day on all uh, uh, days of the week. You can stop it manually or pause it manually. If you want to have it uh, a logging that is compatible with the Qmetrics, and uh, if you want, you can uh, have um, um, Wombat notify you of uh, calls uh, when a call completes uh, uh, or uh, is in error or anything by sending a request to a specific notification URL that you provide. You can leave it a blank, of course. Then for this campaign, we select it. We say we have a trunk here that is only one. You can have more than one, as many as you want. You ha can have one or more endpoints. You can have one or more call lists. And then you can add uh, some rules to say, OK, what happens? Imagine that I get uh, busy. What do I do? I, uh, I will try up to, say, three times. And uh, I will uh, retry every call after, uh, I don't know, 300 seconds, say. Uh, you can have uh, many many custom codes for uh, to decide what's going to happen. Okay, at the moment, uh, at this moment, we can start the one, but we click on here. At the moment, the the, the daemon is running. If we click on here, we're going to see the status. It's uh, been up for five uh, five seconds, and it's okay. So we go here, and we say, okay, I want to run this campaign. I click here, and click on start. I select the campaign and click on start. Okay, this is it. This is our campaign that is uh, that is being uh, run by Wombat, and uh, you can see that you see a set of numbers. These numbers are uh, being called at the moment on a test system, so they of course are very are run very quickly. And uh, you can see when each call was originated, uh, when it was connected, the trunk was run on the endpoint. If it is a retry, that is uh, the first time, the second time, the third time that that uh, that uh, this uh, this uh, call is uh, retried, and you can then click on a call and have a look at the details. You can see here that there are no available campaigns, meaning that a campaign you can run only once, but you can find this campaign in running. So, for example, if you were to modify, you can uh, pause it. For example. When you pause it, uh, calls in progress will be completed, and then the campaign will be will be paused. You see, it's here. I change status. You can restart. You can reload it if you want. Uh, if you change the anything in the campaign, okay. Let's restart from here. You can see that we have uh, this uh, has uh, placed uh, 68 calls at the moment. There are 10 calls at the moment. You can see here. The status is of all the calls that are being made. You can have multiple campaigns with multiple priorities, and you can have campaigns that idle, meaning that you can, uh, instead of uh, creating a, a list of number uh, beforehand, you basically create a campaign that is empty, and uh, by using an HTTP interface, you send it numbers to be dialed one by one, and it will try and schedule them and uh, connect them to the endpoint uh, as, as this is needed. While you're doing this, you can keep this open, or you can close if you choose. You c even if you close the, the web interface, the moment will keep on running. We can see the status here that is running. Uh, the Asterisk server is connected. The campaign is running. And we can see that uh, the endpoints and the trunks are all uh, are have uh, zero free channels. That means they are uh, being used, uh, used up. As the Wombat runs uh, on uh, via AMI, you can uh, run Wombat on a system that is used as your main PBX, that has a graphical, in graphical interface that uh, basically you choose. You can put together multiple servers. Everything is uh, abstracted from you and is done automatically by the Wombat itself. So you can run a campaign report at any time. You se we select which campaigns we want to see. We can have more than one. We can search for them using a, a time period. And it's going to give us the status for this campaign. We see that, for example, uh, in this case, we had a six, uh, 68 times uh, we had a busy, and for 89 times the, the calls were terminated. <coughs> then we can see the details of each call that were placed, that was uh, that was placed, and uh, you, we can see here that we can see we can search by number, and we can um, see when uh, calls were attempted, things like this. We can go back and forth. And uh, and uh, we see what uh, w w what is happening live uh, on on our campaign. This is it. Our campaign is terminated. We're going to find it here in the close campaigns. Here we see that uh, 173 calls were placed. 
you remember we created 100 calls for this campaign but uh, uh, as it retried multiple times uh, um, it, uh, it actually uh, did more uh, more calls than uh, the set of numbers we had in so this is basically a very very simple example of uh, of, uh, of what Wombat is doing at the moment we see that uh, there, there are no running campaigns the Wombat is connected and uh, everything is free all uh, the endpoints and the trunks are completely free from here you can edit user, so you can add user, remove user, create classes like you do in Kinetrix more or less. And also from here you can see a, you can see a system logger, so you can see what's going on, uh, for example when we started and the calls, uh, uh, campaigns, uh, things like this. This is basically it. Thank you and have a nice day.